See you, man. These guys are so great. Yes, guys, another video. Actually, really cool today. I'm excited. Checking out a place called Wheel Tech. I'll put a map up here in a second. It's about a half hour ride out to Lapu Lapu. So, some really cool stuff coming up in this video. It is, Wheeltech is a kind of large motorcycle manufacturer, or not manufacturer, but dealership here in the Philippines. They sell a bunch of different brands. I got the tip on them, actually from Honda. Um, you know, I talked recently about my challenges around getting a motorcycle, uh, you know, getting the bike that I'm looking for, which is that NX500. And, uh, you know, and they actually referred me to Wheeltech that potentially they could order the bike so excited about heading out there and checking them out, seeing what they can do for me here to kind of help out with getting a new bike. So on my way out, about a half hour ride. The other really cool thing that you're gonna see here is why I don't necessarily recommend Lapu Lapu is a good uh, place to be, um, unless you're just gonna stay out there. You know, it's a little bit of a ride out, honestly, to Lapu Lapu. We're looking at about a half hour ride. Now granted, I'm on the other side of town, uh, but it is a half hour ride and that's on weekend traffic, which isn't nearly as bad as weekday traffic. So um, you're a little bit isolated out there on Lapu Lapu, but it has its advantages too. You got all the resorts out there. Uh, so it's nice, you know, like it's, it's got its advantages and disadvantages, but you know, we're gonna, we're cruising out there now and checking out a big motorcycle dealership. So we'll keep the camera rolling here for a little bit as we roll through town. Not too bad today, like I said, with traffic weekends aren't nearly as bad. Uh, the uh, grab driver yesterday gave me some really good pointers on, uh, on the traffic here in Cebu, which is Mondays and Fridays are the worst days. And it made sense when he kind of went into detail about it. He's like, yeah, Chris, people are going home on Fridays and they're coming back on Mondays. So a lot of people will travel in and out of Cebu from the provinces for work. Also really excited today too, I've got the, both cameras going. So I've got the camera in the front, I've got the camera in the back. I'm gonna change out some camera angles while I'm riding hopefully to give you guys some different views, try to make these rides a little more entertaining. I do wanna do a lot more moto, moto vlogging. Um, so, you know, especially as I'm traveling around and going to different places and seeing the really, you know, gorgeous scenes that are there, I plan to do a lot of it right from a motorbike. Hopefully this one, now that I've got the back rack on there, so want to get some experiment with some different camera angles also got mary rose what's up girl mary rose is back uh, so she was uh, had had a bunch of stuff to do in let day regarding her internship so she's back though in town probably th for the next month and a half as she starts up her internship in the next couple weeks so really excited about having her around and doing stuff with her. She's got a little bit of a break right now. And uh, so we're gonna be heading over to Gamotas Island and uh, got a big group we're taking over there. So it should be a good time, man. Really excited about that trip. Yeah, Gamotas is one of my favorite destinations, honestly. I've been there, I don't even know, maybe three or four times now. Really love it. Really easy to get to from Cebu City. And uh, just really gorgeous and remote too. It's not, it's a lot more primitive than, than you know, some of these other islands. Uh, I don't think there's an airport. I mean, there is an airport, but I don't think it's even up and running or functioning or anything like that. So it's really primitive out there, but I don't know. I love that kind of stuff, really. I'm not into the Barakai and, and, you know, all that really high touristy stuff. I mean, whatever, right? I mean, it's, it is what it is. I'm glad, I did go to Barakai once. I'm glad I went. I have no intention though of ever going back really. Uh, just because, you know, I've seen it, done it. Uh, unlike Camotas where I'm working on my third trip. Just because to me, I like the more natural beach stuff. I like, you know, where it's more of a Filipino community and not full with uh, foreigners. You know, nothing against foreigners. It's just, you know, what I, what I like, the beach environment, and island environment that I like to go to. So not that any one is any one of those is right or wrong, right? You, you get what I'm saying. So anyways, we got a little bit of a ride here. We got 26 minutes. We're heading out. Um, excited to see what Wheeltech has. You know, as far as their motorcycle offerings, when I looked really quick, it looked like they had really all, all 
major uh, motorcycle manufacturers. Yeah, uh, definitely I saw Suzuki there. Uh, I'm assuming Honda and all the, yeah, all the big big bikes. I don't know about any other ones like KTM and that. So, so I'm really excited to see what they, uh, what they offer. All right, so I'm gonna turn, go ahead and turn the camera. Well, maybe not, actually. We got a little bit of traffic here coming up, which might be, it's always fun to see what riding like is in big cities, and especially in Southeast Asia, you know, coming from Westerners. That's really, this is a little bit different riding dynamic here with uh, mainly just lane filtering is really kind of the only big deal, the main obvious difference, you know, and then uh, California and Utah, I believe you can lane filter, probably more states. I think maybe Colorado now you can uh, lane filter. So it's coming around. The problem I see though with uh, some of these, you know, when I was lane filtering in Colorado is people's perception on it. I mean, they get pissed off, man. You know, they don't, they do not like you doing that. And gosh, I had people almost run me off the road a couple times for lane filtering. So yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. Of course I wasn't doing it legally at the time, but you know, people aren't, uh, people aren't really friendly towards motorcycles in the United States in general versus here. You know, people here aren't, aren't trying to run you off the road. They're not doing a bunch of stuff to, you know, intentionally try to freaking kill you like in the United States. Ah, look at that. People are pretty cranky there. I hope, hope everyone's doing okay though, watching the video and I uh, hope you're surviving, you know, and, and having a great life out there, so. Anyways, guys, I think I'll turn off the video for a little bit. Um, got a little bit of a ride ahead of me, and uh, we'll catch you back at the dealership. So, and beans. Hey, guys. Check this out here, man. A little bit of a, uh, we got a bridge here. Heading over to Lapu Lapu. I don't really get over here too much, like I was saying earlier. It's just a little bit of a fan. Usually there's a lot of traffic. So I don't really get out here too much. I've been out to a couple of the resorts here. I mean, that's one of the nice things. You know, you could do some day use stuff at the resorts. I've got some videos on that. I went to, uh, what's that, Changer La, and I went to uh, uh, Plantation Bay, a couple of videos on that already. I'll put those in the video description. Um, you know, decent little day use stuff you could do out there, really beautiful. Oh, man, I love it up here. Yeah, it's just gorgeous, good breeze. Are you afraid of heights there, Mary Rose? Are you good? Do you like the heights? Huh? You wanna go for a swim? No? <laughs> you think we can go over there? <laughs> oh well. Yeah, he's having fun. Yeah, so really beautiful up here. The new bridge is really nice too. The, what I think it's called the Seelick Bridge. Uh, the toll bridge. Gorgeous. I've been over that a couple times. Yeah, really beautiful bridge. All right, we still got, oh, it looks like we got five minutes. Not too bad, not too far away. Hey guys, we made it out to Lapu Lapu, out at the Wheeltech dealership. This place is massive. I'll show you around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm really excited because they are able to pretty much order any bike as long as it's available from any manufacturer. And what we got like right now is I'm looking at the Suzuki 650 here. Really, uh, really beautiful bike. It's a little more bike than I think that I want. Uh, but this is the model there. It's the Sport Adventure Tour. It's the C650, uh, but looks really sharp. They also have it in yellow here. Uh, so I don't know. It's uh, definitely something to think about, but you know, I'm really excited that uh, now I now have the ability to pretty much any bike that I want to get, I can order from these guys and they can have it for me versus, you know, with Honda, it was pretty much show up to the dealership every day and see if, it, see if the bike is there. So really excited about that. And uh, but yeah, it looks like they have primarily uh, scooters down here, but they do have some big bikes up here. They got Kawasaki down there. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, but yeah, pretty much Suzuki and Kawasaki in-house and then any other bike that you want. I'll put up a map too, exactly where this place is at. So be right back with Kawasaki. All right, guys, down here. They got some bigger bikes down here too. So I'll show you some of the cruisers. There's a Vulcan, Vulcan Custom right there. Uh, looks really sharp. Oops, yeah, Vulcan. And then they have an Eliminator right here. This must be a new model, right? Ooh, did that replace the Vulcan S? 
it looks like Mount Vulcan S. And then uh, we got some really cool uh, jet skis down here. Uh, I don't know, boys and our toys, right? There's a ZX-10R. Oh, look at that bike. And then look at these freaking, look at these jet skis. Oh, wouldn't that just be a blast? Just be, I would love to have that right there. Looks so great. What's the price on that? Just out of curiosity. I wonder if they show. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it's gotta be Mahal Cayo, as they say. Yeah, check out this shop. Really cool shop. Like I said, if, uh, you know, for me, I'm just super excited that uh, I have the ability now to order bikes as I want. It was really a challenge, honestly, is trying to get a bike, even the Himalayan, it can get anything for me here. So um, we're really excited about that. Shout out to these guys here at Wheel Tech. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. We're gonna cruise around for a little bit. Um, we'll be head back home, uh, check it out. And then, I don't know, do some thinking about the type of bikes that I really wanna to do for the type of riding. That's one of the things, guys, that I've really learned out here is buying the bike that's right for the riding that you're doing. I mean, we've heard that a hundred times, right? Um, buy, the, buy the kind of bike that you're currently riding, not that you want to ride, so that way you're fulfilled in your riding. And that's so critical here just because it's hard to sell bikes. You know, in the United States, you get a bike like my Tannery, right? I had a Tannery 700. I thought I would really love it. It turned out being top heavy and top heavy and really too advanced for the type of riding that I wanted to do. I would have been much better off with a dual sport riding off road. Anyways, but there I just sold it. You know, it was easy to sell. I actually sold it for more than I paid for it. Here, different story. You know, I might have a little better success being a blogger of selling bikes, but really a challenge to sell um, that type of bike here just because no one's gonna, no one really has kind of that kind of money to, to spend on a motorcycle. So. Anyways, man, that's probably it for this video. We're gonna we're gonna run around here a little bit, maybe grab some lunch, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.